Listen, I got a bunch of requests for this new Netflix movie about a girl named Sierra Burgess and how she's a loser and... I mean, I get why Netflix picked it up. Y'all know I don't mind the cheesy rom-com, right? But this one... Boy, this one was so bad, the people searching up the movie got the wrong title and assumed she wasn't just a loser, but a big loser. And I kind of agree. Let me explain. So in some way, this is supposed to be a modern retelling of a French play from the 1800s where a high school girl struggles to be relevant in school. Her parents are like geniuses who hit it big as a writer and a motivational speaker, so Sierra's just the mist of their successes. She's always getting bullied, her only friend is Earl while she's the dying girl. She's so bad that the top Google tag for her own movie is cringeworthy. Yet her biggest nemesis is this chick named Veronica who's so mean, the queen bee in the plastics would have been like, chill. Move it, Ferdo, before you break the mirror. That's where Peter Kavinsky comes in, who's the star quarterback for the rival school. But my man's trying to spit his game at the same diner from his previous movie. But evil Gillian Jacobs Jr. over here plays him by giving him Sierra's number instead. Whoa, 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 hold on, hold on. Stop, stop, stop. My man doesn't know he's getting played, so at this point, I was actually feeling bad for Sierra because she's getting used, and Peter because he gets baited in every movie that he's in. But it's when Sierra goes along with it and starts pretending she's actually Veronica where I went. Sierra was just wrong. They start hitting it off like most catfishes do. Dude's taking constipated selfies. They spend hours on the phone. He truly starts falling in love with her when she gets hit with the big question. You want to FaceTime tomorrow? Nice to see you. Somehow her and Veronica made a deal with each other that Veronica needs tutoring so the real Veronica was going to help her out and she decides to do the FaceTime call with her while Sierra's on the other end of the camera telling her what to say. It's like, it's like Black Klansman but without the racial repercussions. At this point it's clear that Sierra Burgess is a loser, right? But for all of those who are like, no, you got to give a girl a chance, you don't know how difficult it is, she does this. And you are... Um, your name is Shit Pizza? Um, Ty, come here, come here. You guys are, are not gonna believe this, but uh, uh, this is my brother, Ty, and he's deaf too. <laughs> what are the odds of that? Girl, if that wasn't bad enough, right? Peter goes on a date with the real Veronica, and Sierra decides to supervise from under a car, and then decides to do what listen y'all women need to learn about consent how do you not tell the difference between vanna white's hands and the michelins my man here is being used and he has no idea what's going on right like bruno this is why you gotta look why were they open speaking of rape they end up going to this party where veronica not only gets used by her real boyfriend but there's this there's this random shot where this happens i love your poodle that's so adorable. Veronica then ends up on Mars when her boyfriend dumps her over DM and she runs to Sierra to vent about it because she knows that she can trust her with her deepest, darkest secrets. Sierra releases her deepest, darkest secrets. Thing is, is that Sierra catches Veronica getting a taste of the goods and so she decides to hack Veronica's Instagram account and post that private screenshot. And it's like, girl, that's illegal. Stealing your man ain't. See, that was just wrong. You then get this weirdo who plugs in his iPhone to a Surface Pro, if that's even possible, and he projects the picture up on the Jumbotron for all to see. Peter catches a glimpse of it and then gets hit with all this information. Are you cheating on me with, with Spence? No, Jamie, I'm not. And I'm not who you think I am, and she's not who you think she is. She's been pretending to be me, and I've been pretending to be her, and she's been catfishing you no, this no, entire time. No. Whoa, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on, stop, stop, stop. He hits them with the thought be gone, these thoughts be split, and Earl reminds her. See, that was just wrong. Everything falls apart, and then... And it just doesn't. Somehow this turns into a high school musical where Sierra fixes everything with a song since earlier in the movie Veronica told her that she liked her voice and Peter who just got catfished by two people gets shown this song and then and he decides to ask her to prom. You're my type. You are exactly my type. How? By the end of it, you realize that it doesn't matter how much of a messed up person you are, right? You can be pretty, you can be not pretty, as long as you can sing and mildly offend one subgroup, you might get your own Netflix original show. Thank you guys for checking out this video. I'm curious to know your thoughts down below in the comment section. I know a lot of you guys like this. I'm not one to get offended by 
really anything. I only get offended when it, it doesn't deliver, when it's not as funny. So uh, that's what I'm gonna tell you. You can't have it both ways, right? You can't make a character, you know, you want them to be likable and they do unlikable things. Like, you gotta get it all the way, right? Are they a likable person or are they completely despicable? You gotta, you gotta go all the way with it. Other than that, I'm curious to know your thoughts. Any other ones you want me to cover? Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe or you'll end up in the upside down with barbs.